I'd like to share with you three top tips or three ideas uh, relating to how you can relate uh, succession planning with leadership development within your business. Um, to my way of thinking, there's probably three tips that I would um, suggest. Know your organization, write your game plan, and don't do it alone. So let's look at the first one, know your organization. Uh, a, a really handy question that I like to use is to ask the question, if any one of my leaders was unavailable for three months, how would I backfill him or her? And the reason why I pick three months, and for example, not the person being gone permanently, is because if they're gone permanently, there's a, there's a temptation to fill a square hole with another square peg. If someone's gone for an extended period of time in your planning, then I have to find those skills those, those uh, leadership traits and value, uh, traits that I value and behaviors in order to make sure that I can keep the business running. And so the only way you're going to do that is actually if you know your business because it's going to require you to go through possibly every single uh, position in your, in your business, but it's well worth doing. Uh, now the second being, uh, I'll call it the playbook. Um, it's really important to actually go through a process of writing this down. And writing things down might feel academic, might feel like no one's going to read it, might feel like a waste of time. But actually when you write things down, it actually forces you to think critically and to express things clearly. And I, I always like to put together a playbook, I call it, uh, which has every single, it has an org chart, every position description. It talks about uh, the types of skills and behaviors that we require and uh, that we value, which aren't necessarily the same thing. Um, and then it also uh, speaks to who would move from where to where. Now, the value of having a playbook isn't so much that you've written something down and it, and it will describe every single possible crisis, but, but rather the act of being prepared and knowing how to think means that in the event of any crisis, you've already started the thought process and can work things through. Now, the third area uh, I would say is don't do it alone. And what I mean by don't do it alone is it's really, really important to engage the other leaders in your business. And I really strongly recommend you start, uh, it's an awful expression, but at the bottom of the business, you start with the, all the people you lead um, because they probably know more than you do. And it also involves and engages people and it helps everybody to understand what are the leadership values that you have and that you want to re reward and recognize in your business. And it helps everyone put their mind towards how could I put together a succession plan internally and what sort of development does any of us need. So that would be my three.